Live from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's The Cube at IBM Edge 2014. Brought to you by IBM. Now here are your hosts, John Furrier and Dave Vellante. Okay, welcome back everyone live here in Las Vegas. We are here at IBM Edge. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract a signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of Silicon Angle. Joe, my co-host, Dave Vellante, co-founder of wikibon.org. Our next guest is Michael Kuhn, VP of BLE Flash Systems. Uh, welcome back to theCUBE, appreciate you coming back. And uh, I got to ask you, are we on a flash mobbing situation around flash? <laughs> we're here doing the crowdsourced. Content. Yeah, there's kind of a flash mob walking around, I think, right? The flash ship uh, lollipop, as we were saying, <laughs> the flash flagship. Um, we got a flash city inside the solution center, augmented reality, I'm sure everybody's <laughs> talking about that. It's, it's, it's been no kind of amazing I mean, this year, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's no joke, I mean, you're seeing all things, Facebook buying Oc Oculus Rift, and all this, all this new stuff coming, wearable computers, you're seeing 128 gigabytes on small little sand disk, the data center, uh, flashes everywhere. I mean, how much of an impact is this really going to be, in your mind? Oh, it's huge, it's huge. You know, the thing that's uh, most interesting about Flash is it really is helping businesses transform themselves. And so, um, you know, what Flash does, you know, everybody wants to talk about the numbers and it's, you know, 10x faster, 20x faster, 45x faster. At the end of the day, what really the true value of Flash is it's able to move these things to real time. So when you can move, you know, your business decisions to real time, that's what makes a big difference. So I know we've talked uh, about Sprint Computers and some of the conferences here. Um, they talk about a 45x improvement. That's not the key thing from my perspective. The key thing is it's helped them to move to real time. And when you move your business to real time, you make those decisions in real time, that's truly what changes the industry. So really it's about driving competitive advantage and competitive edge in the marketplace. The winning edge, you've got a lot of winners come on the queue, but also we had Sebastian Krauss on earlier talking about you know, systems of record, old decade long, many decade long kind of paradigm. The systems of engagement. You're mm -hmm. seeing things on the social data. I was just tweeting, you know, social data as a first class citizen, meaning social data meaning user data. Mm -hmm. um, and bringing that to engagement. I mean, that is real time. Mobile really is, the, is, a, is, a, is a poster child of real time. And mobile being real time results. Insights, actionable insights. It sounds like a bunch of Kool-Aid, but at the end of the day, businesses are driven to sell the customers value, right. whether that's products or services. At the end of the day, that's real time, right? Exactly, it's all real time. It's about bridging that gap as well, right? Because when you, when you do the transactions on your mobile device, when you make your deposit with your check that you're getting, you want to make sure it actually gets where it needs to go, right? So creating new, new eras of new, uh, new workloads, but actually tied back into these systems yeah. of records as well. And, and Flash is becoming very, very prominent making all that work together. Let's unpack that a little bit. So actually retail's a great example. We had some uh, your partners on earlier um, talking about retail being in one of their killer markets. Obviously that's only one example. But how does like retail or other solutions using real time uh, uh, technologies like Flash to bring on their, their managing their business, whether it's what, por what portions go in the cloud, which portions go on on-prem, because analytics you can throw in the cloud, but then there's some data issues. So break that down for us. What's the spectrum look like from a solution standpoint? I love Flash, I love this notion of real time, I'm sold. Mm -hmm. Tell me what to do next. I mean, that's kind of where people are at. So when you think about cloud, you think about analytics, you know, people always ask the question, well, I understand the value of Flash, the, the performance of Flash, where does it really get targeted? It gets targeted in this big data analytics space. So that's really where it's, what it's all about. It's about driving uh, uh, speeds like never seen before, but enabling things that were impossible before, now possible. So back to your example about retail. Uh, it's about improving the client experience. You're online, you're shopping, you want to know, should you buy this, should you buy that? Hey, that's great to know while you're in the moment, the moment of impact when you're making the purchase. Not 10 minutes later, not five minutes later, not when you've checked out, right? It's got to be in the moment, in real time, and that's what Flash allows you to do. When you move it to real time, that's what changes business models. So I want to get your thoughts on like the academic side of the equation. When you think about like real time, you think about the new opportunities that exist out there, these new user experiences. You mentioned mobile, retail, could be online. Right. Um, you know, Dave always quotes Jeff Hammerbacker, founder of Cloudera, always says, the best minds of our industry are using big data to give the best ad mm -hmm. in front of a user, which is kind of like, you know, a, a diss and really on the, the science side. Watson just made an acquisition today around the, the AI side, which kind of telegraphs some of the cognitive computing. Right. So the notion of recommendation engine really is about personalization. So how do you see the new experiences and, and what has to get done under the hood to make that engine of innovation where 
these new user experience, whether it's mobile, or they got multiple devices, whether on the edge of the network, Internet of Things, all these are, are boiling up yep. around what's going on under the hood. So right. what is available in your mind, and what still needs to get done to make those things happen? Well, a lot of technology is available. A lot of people are providing parts of the solution, but it's about making it all work together, right? So, um, you know, we've talked a lot about our Flash strategy and how Flash is starting to train, change uh, businesses uh, in all aspects, all, all industries, uh, large and small clients around the world. But uh, we've really been spending a lot of time at this conference talking about software defined uh, as well, right? So software defined around Flash. So what we're finding is trying to integrate this into the fabric of the system, trying to integrate you know, Flash uh, across the enterprise, it's really about the different changes you have to make to your software as well to exploit the capabilities of Flash. Uh, most of the software that was written you know, a decade ago was written to be optimized for disk. Now it has to be rewritten, modernized, has to be all linked together to take advantage of the, the true characteristics of Flash performance. So it's about knitting it all together, it's about having the, you know, the fastest tier of storage, but it's about having a software uh, defined storage strategy as well to keep it all knitted together. So Mike, can we talk numbers here? So Absolutely. there's a lot of numbers floating around the, 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 the industry and we've heard some from IBM this week, so let's, let's clarify it. So Jamie Thomas talked about 100 petabytes of flash shipped. I think you uh, had, uh, IBM also mentioned 80 plus terabytes shipped last year. I know EMC, petabytes, petabytes sorry. Uh, EMC has talked about 17 petabytes in Q1 of 2014. Where do we stand? Uh, who's the leader? What can you tell us about your numbers and what do you know about you know, the marketplace? Well, let me break it down for you. So uh, last year, across all of our IBM products, both on the storage side and on the server side, we shipped 82 petabytes of flash in 2013. In the last five years, uh, last five quarters rather, we shipped over 100 petabytes because we shipped another 27 petabytes in the first quarter. So there it is, 82 last year, 27 in the first quarter. How does that compare to others? Well, I believe uh, EMC was here about two weeks ago at this, uh, at this hotel. They, thought they talked about a big number as well. They talked about 73 petabytes. So uh, pretty clear who's number one. And they talked about 17 in the quarter. We did 27, so it's pretty clear who's number one. Now, we should also talk about what's happening in the all flash array space, which is a subset of that marketplace, which is being very closely watched right now as well. Okay, so let's talk about that. All right, so uh, we expect Gartner to release the numbers here uh, soon, uh, as early as this week, maybe next week. Um, they came out with it in 2012, and so when they came out with it uh, about a year ago for the 2012 year, they said that uh, violin memory was number one, EMC was number two, and IBM was number three. So the 2013 numbers are right around the corner. They're going to be released soon. Uh, we fully expect that IBM is going to be number one uh, based on where we, where we uh, delivered our performance last year. And I'm pretty sure EMC might have fell a little bit, but I'm going to wait till Gartner comes out and post those numbers, and let's see uh, where they call one, two, three, it, it, and four. Was the EMC number 17 or 72? 17 petabytes shipped in the first quarter and 73 petabytes, I presume that's shipped to date, and I presume that includes all flash of all that's types, all right? That's all their flash And products, your 109 right? uh, petabytes includes everything as well, right? Server it's side, storage side, including yeah. the all flash array marketplace, right? Yeah. So they show, they it's show the both. the kitchen sink number. Right. Which is fine, that's what we want to know. Right. right, which is why everybody wants to talk about what's happening in the all flash array marketplace as well. I mean, that is the fastest growing segment of the enterprise storage marketplace right now. It's growing about 10x faster than uh, the overall enterprise storage marketplace. So that's why everybody's sort of anticipating and can't wait till Gardner comes out and releases the market share data for uh, 2013 on the Mike, all flash array segment. How much of that growth do you feel is incremental versus eating into the install base of some of the you know, traditional products? So, uh, so great question without giving you all the numbers. The thing that truly excites us inside of IBM about Flash is, is uh, you know, out of uh, every 10 systems that we sell, probably six or, or seven of those systems are going to brand new clients who never bought IBM storage. So that's pretty amazing, isn't it? So certainly Flash is going to start to displace uh, parts of uh, disk, especially high performance disk. But when you have that much penetration into new accounts and you're selling that much into, to um, clients that aren't buying IBM storage, we get really excited about How that. How much is that shiny new toy element here involved? Obviously, the early adopters want, they're, they're dying for, for faster performance. Flash is like yeah. a godsend, really is. Uh, no, deba no debate about that. You're seeing even success of startups like Pure Storage mm -hmm. get some traction, start to nibble away at the breakfast of, of the big guys like EMC and, and you guys. So you got the, these upstarts coming in, the customers are, are 
starving for faster data yeah. systems. Is it POC time? Is it tire kicking time? How would you evaluate the stage of the market? I mean, obviously, it's, there's some serious petabytes being shipped by you guys. Mm -hmm. um, that will be number one if Gardner releases the numbers. Is it full-blown growth? How do you put this in an inning, as we always yeah, say? Let me, let me, you know, national anthem being sung, warm-up, spring training? I mean, where are we in this? Yeah, let me give you context. So, uh, last year at Edge, we, we talked about this. Uh, we, we made our announcement about a billion dollar investment around Flash. At the same time that we did that, we talked about, uh, we opened 12 Flash centers of competence around the world to do just what you're asking about, POCs, help clients figure out how to deploy Flash into their environments. 2013 was very much about kicking some tires and doing some POCs. Um, we just finished a session upstairs right now. We had a client from um, a cloud service provider, SideQuest from North Carolina. They talked about last year, it was about why Flash this year. Someone comes into his office, says he wants to buy high performance spinning disk, it's about why not flash. So that's how much has changed in just one year time. It's gone from why flash, kicking the tires, to, to now why not flash, and flash is starting to displace high performance disk in big ways right now. So you, you must be happy. So you're, you're in the fastest growing part of the, the business. Uh, Steve Mills last year announced the billion dollar acquisition into your- And you were there. Uh, not acquisition, but billion dollar investment. Yep. I was there into the business. Now, help us clarify. So where is that investment going? Well, it's going, it's going in a lot of different places. So we talked about the broad portfolio that we have across all of our product lines. Certainly the Flash system and our new product that we announced earlier this year, the Flash System 840 and the Flash System V840 is our flagship product. But we're seeing Flash being adopted across the entire product line. So we talked about some major announcements this week around our DS8000 offering, around XIV. We talked about Flash inside our store-wise uh, offering, all the way to Flash on the server side. So IBM was one of the leaders who announced the first one to announce Flash DIMMs inside our System X products which we did in uh, January this year. So we probably were about a year ahead of everybody else in the industry in terms of adopting flash in, in the memory, flash dims. Uh, so that's part of the investment, is horizontally across all the platform. Now vertically, what we're also doing is we're starting to do all that heavy lifting to take all that software, all the SVC software that we have and we combine with our V840, V stands for virtualization. So that same software stack around SVV, SVC which was now we're in the eighth generation, 14 years of that successful product. We now are doing the hard work to modernize that and make that truly optimized for Flash. So some of those uh, software tools were written for disk, now they're being optimized to be written for Flash, and so that's what's taken off. So we're seeing a lot of software investment vertically as well, so horizontally and vertically. vertically. Yeah, this is one of those cases where gray hair in the stack is, is an advantage, right? Everybody right. talks about modern architectures, blah, 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 but the fact is, the, the many stacks are lacking in yep. all flash arrays, so you've got to rely on, I mean, you get the advantage of being able to rely on right. you know, existing stack. Um, I wonder if you could, uh, uh, just want to go back to the investment area, does that include the acquisition of TMS? That includes the uh, acquisition that we made for TMS in uh, September, October of 2012, as well as uh, uh, investments that we made over you know, the two, next two years. So we talked about the billion dollar investment, it was our acquisition class plus our investments over the next two years. And you didn't announce a number for that, did you? We did not. So but it's less than a billion, we know that. It is less than a billion. <laughs> so we have some crowd chat activity, even from your own IBM storage handle, it says Flash is being implemented across the entire IBM storage product line. Where's the competition in that? Okay, since they tweeted that, we'll bring that up. Competition, how do you guys compare? Mentioned pure storage, getting a lot of buzz right now. $3 billion valuation, obviously private market, that's very public market, so it's not truly an efficient market. Yeah. Um, and they didn't raise that much, it's less than half a billion dollars, so yeah. um, we'll call them an upstart. And you got EMC obviously out there doing their thing. Mm -hmm. What is the competition for you guys, and what battles are you going to fight? So look, a uh, couple things that people should think about when they think about Flash. First of all, most people who, who uh, adopt Flash and talk about a Flash system, and you mentioned two of them, EMC, Pure Storage, so I'll just echo what you said. They're adopting flash SSD, solid state disk, right into their, into their flash system. Um, there's only a handful of people in the industry that does what IBM does. Um, we actually buy the NAND flash chips and we do the innovation at the chip level and build a purpose-built system from the ground up, so no SSDs, right? So what that allows us to do is drive a lot better performance to optimize all the way from the data port in the back all the way to the flash chip so we run faster than everybody else. So now let's talk about the second part of the strategy and how we're starting to separate from competition. The second part, when we, when we launched the V840 and the 840 in January, we did some of the hard things to make it ready for the enterprise, to make it ready for the data center. So some of the flash startups can't come close to doing things like concurrent code load, where you don't have to 
uh, take your system down to update the firmware, to do encryption. So we put these things inside the Flash System 840, which we announced in January, which sort of separates us from a lot of the competition. And the third thing is, quite frankly, is all the investment that we've talked about doing across our software stack. So the software defined storage play, doing all those rewrites to the code and modernization to the code to drive better performance for Flash, that's where we're making a lot of investment. And quite frankly, nobody else has a platform like SVC um, in the marketplace. So, so that, so faster, on. integrated, so the purpose-built ground up, that's unique. Faster, because you're faster across different uh, lines. And you're integrating other t uh, tech, like security and other features, right. into the software and, and, and non-disruptive code change. Yeah, make it ready That's for the enterprise. Huge. I mean, that is huge. Nobody else can do this. I mean, full availability, active, active controllers, concurrent code load, never take your system down to update it. I mean, this is what people want. They want access to the data. So saying you can do it, people still talk about hot swap. They crack open the top of the, you know, the storage system and they start popping out cards. Guess what? When you do that, you contaminate all the other cards. So, you know, we have the only design that you can service this thing from the front of the box. You can do concurrent code load. I mean, this thing has been optimized for the data center and is bar none better than anything else in the industry. All right, so you're pretty confident. Sounds like the confidence is bit. just is, is oozing out. So, no problem. You know, the cube, people are confident on the cube. They get comfortable. So, <laughs> so I got to ask you, are you going to flex your muscles this year? What are you going to do to shout that from the highest mountain? You, any plans from the marketing standpoint? Is it customers? Is it partnerships? What are you guys planning on doing? get the word out. Yeah, great question. So last year, 2013, was all about getting the product into the marketplace, making it the best product possible. 2014 is going to be about doing all the work you just talked about. So we're driving a lot of tight integration with our ISVs. We've targeted the top 40 ISVs to optimize them on Flash. You're going to see us at a lot of the industry conferences. We're going to be at the Flash Memory Summit in, in August in a big way. So you're going to see IBM take a leadership role and start to assert its technology and its leadership position in the marketplace. Any other partnerships outside the ISV? You're looking at other, obviously you have a great ecosystem of partners around you. Brocade was just on here earlier. Um, anything there to announce or talk great about? Great ecosystem, great partnerships. Just a lot, a lot of things going on. A lot, a lot of little little home, you know, little base hits <laughs> across a lot of ISVs. And, uh, it Gap shot for a double, <laughs> take, it, take it to second base. What about um, um, just overall leadership around um, taking it beyond on the, on the competitive front, because with all these FUD wars going on, certainly that's a big piece. How are you guys going to, to get it to the customers? I mean, is it through those dozen high level marketing? Is there a ground game involved? What are you guys thinking there? Big ground game involved. You know, we spent a lot of, uh, a lot of investment in building out our uh, dedicated flash team. So we have a dedicated flash team. We're doing a lot of work to integrate the channel. We sell a lot of our flash technology through, through our business partners. So it's a big channel play. So we're doing a lot to invest in the channel this year. Uh, we're going into the channel, meeting the channel with some of the key partnership solutions like Atlantis Computing that gave us a, a great VDI solution in the marketplace. So you're seeing a lot more of that and uh, a lot more of just, uh, you know. Uh, headcount? Oh, headcount. Boy, headcount, where you guys last year versus this year? And any forecast, just kind of order of magnitude, thousands and thousands? Or? Yeah, I think most people in the industry knew that, uh, you know, when we acquired Texas Memory Systems in September of 2012, they were about a hundred person company, you know, yep. an engineering company, not much of a marketing team. We're going to be about uh, 500 in that business unit by the end of this year. But the important thing is, it's not just that number. I mean, it, it's about, it's about, we have all of our storage sellers now, the, the, the yeah. you know, talk to Sebastian Krauss, so we have all them enabled, they're selling flash, they're moving flash. So I'm just talking about the dedicated people yeah, yeah. that are out That's there. That's a division, now you got the field. Exactly. And the partner. We got the partner channel, we got all the things aligning right now, we're driving this thing in a big way. Great. But well, we're excited, we'll be covering, certainly we'll be, uh, we'll be talking those ISVs. That's actually come, has come up a lot in the past couple of months, Dave and I were well, talking. Yeah, I mean, folks, the, the ISV thing. is critical. Some say that's a real hard nut to crack because they're a little finicky about what's going on there. We'll be covering you guys at the conferences. Great to see the news, it's an exciting time. Certainly the disruption is uh, at an all-time high with real benefits. Again, speed, latency, we didn't even get into the cost of ownership piece of it, which is a whole nother discussion <laughs> worthy of another hour. But this is theCUBE, we'll be right back with our next guest after this short break.